Welcome to your Daily Focus, May the 11th, 2022. My name's Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. And thank you. Thank you truly for all the positive, loving, supportive energy you send my way each and every day. Now we start with the 11 energy today. The 11 energy, wow. What a great energy to have. So we know it's going to be a little intense today. Whenever we have an 11 energy, you know it's going to be a little bit more tense. The 11 energy is a master number. And there's arguments on what the master numbers is. I follow it as 11, 22, and 33 are the master numbers. And the others as combinations do have significant strength, but the I believe that the master numbers are those three. Anyways, we have the 11 energy today. Now the 11 energy is the teacher appears, the illuminator appears. It asks us to have a courage it asks of us for self-sacrifice. It asks us to meet our responsibility and obligations. But it also asks us to make a commitment towards a goal, a dream, a desire, and then put forward the focus, the energy needed, the time, maybe perhaps the resources, and really give it, really give it your attention and focus. And when that happens, you can find success very quickly under the 11 energy. It's a harder energy. We meet more challenges, absolutely. But the rewards are that much greater. Now, if we do the numerology of the day, it's a 22 energy. So two master numbers today. So there's intense for you. Intense to work towards your goals and your dreams. Now, under the 22 energy, we are gifted with visionary thoughts. So take some time back today and daydream about your potential your path the potential of your path your goals your dreams your desires what you want to make a reality in your world within you perhaps and your intuition will be much higher so believe believe in yourself what your body is telling you what your emotion is telling you what your heart center is telling you what your uh, sacral chakra is telling you what your solar plexus chakra is telling you listen how do you feel do you feel like that's a grounded decision do you feel like it's kind of wishy-washy do you have a fear now is it a fear of success a fear of failure a fear of what people might say or do or act upon if you announce this if you go for it So take ownership of your dreams, your goals, your desires, absolutely under this intense energy, just the numerology alone. Let's talk about the astrology now. Sun is in Taurus. That could have to do with your finances, your material possessions, growing those material possessions. It could be under a Taurus energy, we could be looking at our bank statements and how that's all going to work out and where we are putting our money, where we are making our money work for us, where we are spending our money in order to have the things that we want in our life. It's about bringing in a luxury, but it's like a solid luxury. It's not something that is going to be outdated. If you're going to buy a car, it's going to increase in value kind of thing. It's also about your home, your comfort level, security. It's about definitely about your five senses. Taurus energy is definitely about your five senses and experiencing the world through those five senses. So, you know, I, I've been walking through greenhouses. Now, I'm there to shop, but get my garden all ready to go. I get to have a garden this year, so that's pretty exciting for me because I've wanted one for about 20 years now. But time and energy were not factors in my life to be able to do that. So now I can. So I am. So what can you do before that you want to do and bringing it forward into your life and how you can do that, how you accomplish that. And maybe you can't this year, but you're looking towards, you know what, next year I'm doing it. So I'm going to start planning now. So it's all in place so that when I go to do it, it's just boom, boom, boom. And I'm there. So it could be something like that. We're looking at absolutely bringing in our, our, our security and happiness.
Moon is in Virgo, so it's getting our ducks in a row. It's understanding what has value and what doesn't have value. It's about wanting to work. It's also about relationships, the six energy, very much about relationships and love and growing those partnerships, growing those relationships, platonic or romantic, deeper, long lasting, forging. Two souls is one. Now, I apologize for not being here yesterday because there was a lot of things happening yesterday and I wasn't here to tell you about them. But luckily for me, I'm kind of a, hopefully off the hook because I'm here now to explain it to you. And you will be feeling this energy for the next several weeks. Well, the second one that we're going to talk about will be tell, you might as well just think till the end of the year. But Mercury went stationary retrograde yesterday. Now, Mercury does this several times a year, so we're used to it, but we still kind of don't like it. Now, if you have a new opportunity or something, a decision to make, a yes or no, or signing on the dotted line for something, and it can wait, then wait till after the retrograde is over, if that's possible. Now, if there is a time factor involved, then make sure that you have done your research and you've done your homework and you've asked the validating questions. Because what happens a lot in a Mercury retrograde is we think we know it all and we sign on the dotted line. Mercury goes through its retrograde. New information is revealed to us that we didn't know before. Maybe new questions popped into our minds and we don't like the answer now, but it's too late. We've signed on the dotted line. Mercury retrograde is about waiting because once that information comes in, you have more clarity and understanding about where you want to take the next step and how that decision is going to play out for you long term. So the second thing that is happening. So with Mercury retrograde, just to finish that off for anybody who's kind of new and doesn't understand what a retrograde is or anything like that, Mercury is now going to go backwards. So we are going to walk backwards through the path that we have just walked. And it has a lot to do with communication, what we communicate, what we've been writing about, journaling about, what we've been talking about, what we've been reading, what we've been studying. Also electronics, okay? Don't even worry about your electronics. If they're not working, then just wait till the Mercury retrograde's over. I, nine times out of 10 for me, everything starts working normally again. So, but I, I can tell you a week before Mercury goes retrograde that it's going to because my goodness, I had more things go wrong with me and my computers and my phone and you know, I got hacked. So, you know, all that goes into a play. They always say that you are where you are because that's where you want to be and you brought this upon yourself. I'm thinking, how did I bring that upon myself? Because I would never want to have any, like you guys get duped or anything just because you watch me and you just, it's so trusting. Please do not be trusting of me, okay? If I've sent anything to you, then double check. Double check with me first under a different format. So if you got it through Facebook, then come on to YouTube, make a comment. Or if you got it through Instagram, I know, I'm just saying I no longer have an Instagram account. I'm almost thinking of renaming myself because I can't get rid of the tarot with Telly. And I think, wow, new people are going to come along and they're not going to know about it. And they're going to see that. And they're going to say, oh, Telly's got an Instagram site. So I'm thinking about changing it up somehow. So if you guys have any suggestions to what I should be calling myself and just changing it around so that tarot with Telly isn't the thing that people are looking for when they're searching me on the internet and finding a fake account out there and being taken advantage of just because they just wanted to join us for you know a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, sitting across your kitchen table with you and talking about the energy of the day. So where was I going with that? Okay, so Mercury retrograde. So eventually we walk through and then when we come back walking through, we'll walk through the situations one more time. So all those things that you thought you were done, you had the conversations, you had the talk, you sent the emails, you met the deadline, whatever it may be, you're going to find that they, they prop their little, rear their little ugly heads and say, no, no, we're not done yet. We need to look at this now. We need to look at that now. We need to understand this more. And then you will come back through. But when we come back through, we have a strength, a clarity, an understanding. 
So Mercury is a wonderful time to just kind of, if especially if we've been in fast forward and we have been, it'll allow us time to walk back through and maybe make some adjustments on some things that we thought were done and good thing they're not because we have time to fix, to mend, to mold it into our perception, into our reality and what we want it to become. The second thing is, well, okay, so Jupiter went into Aries yesterday. I know, how exciting is that? Okay, and so Jupiter and Aries is like, you know, Aries is our, our first sign. So it is about, it's, it's not about making the plan and taking our time and making the list and working out the strategy and working out the plan. It is a time where you feel a spark of inspiration and you grab it and you run with it. Now, we have to watch ourselves with that because Aries is a very young sign and we can get bored very quickly on what we're doing or we accomplish it to a certain point and then we don't want to go. So we really have to look at, is this going to be long-term sustaining to me if I put my energy in this direction? Especially if it's job, career, some way that you make money or a relationship as well. Is this going to be long-term? Am I putting all my eggs in one basket? Is this the right choice for me? Is it a balanced choice going forward? We don't want to make rash and impulsive decisions. And under the Aries energy with Jupiter expanding, we will want to just jump into it. So we have to be extra cautious that we're not doing that. So we're going to have to fight the energy a little bit on that. If we think about it, if we get the information, then we go forward. Wow, watch the expansions happen. Because Aries is just pure fire, right? And pure, let's start, let's trailblaze, let's pioneer, let's start something new, create something new. Let's go kind of energy. So now Uranus and Jupiter are talking up in the sky. They're going to meet up three times this year, this being the first. And I think the last one is, I think the second one is sometime in September, maybe towards the end of September. The third one will be just a couple of days before Christmas. So I'm thinking the 23rd of December. So we're going to meet this energy three times. Okay. So we need to avoid random moves under this energy and Uranus is the only thing you can depend on with Uranus is that you can't depend on anything. Uranus just comes around the corner and goes, surprise, you know, it's, it's, it's Uranus is the one that just jumps out and surprise, <laughs> this is happening in your life now. Didn't expect this today, did you? So expect that. Okay, please expect that. So where we want the expansion, where we want to the growth, we have to watch and make sure that we're avoiding those random moves. I mean, I'm just going to try this and throw it out there and see what happens. And it totally ruins where you are going. So think about it. Think about it, please. Uh, but open yourself up to new ways of doing, of thinking. And where does the attention need to be in your life for improvement? Where do you really want to focus that attention? And, and have that conversation with yourself because this energy is probably going to last till the end of the year. So we will be looking at or putting our focus on different areas of our life where it needs improvement, where it needs attention. And maybe it's yourself right now with me. I am looking at rebranding me completely. Uh, everything that I used to be is now gone. All my labels are gone for the most part. The things that I would have talked about, you know, the mom raising three kids, two with autism. Well, I got one with me and I'm not doing really much raising with him anymore, but he still stays with me. So I'm not that single mom with three kids anymore because they're out living their own lives for the most part, at least two of them completely. And one of them stays at home and lives his life through here. Still got him in my life. And there's reasons behind that that need to be. So, Anyways, then I, I worked. I, I worked one job, so then I was that person, but then I worked another job for 40 years and I became that person. And so 
when people would ask me to do things, I would look at that schedule. And if I wanted to take personal time, I also had to look at what everybody else wanted in the group before I could make a decision. But who I was, was I was that employee after that business. And so I have retired, which is why I can have my gardens for the first time because it physically and mentally exhausted me to no end. And then I was showing up here and I was doing other stuff, taking care of my mom, but now my mom has passed. So I'm not that person either. I'm not that caregiver for a beautiful, beautiful soul with dementia. So I am reinventing myself and that's why I say I'm not ready to jump into giving personal readings and everything. I have to turn the attention to me and what do I really want in my life going forward? What is, and so you too need to do this. You need to back it up and say, what do I really want to step into? What do I want to create in my life? What do I want to invent in my life? What do I want to start anew in my life? Where can I improve my life? How can I improve my life? What things have to go in order for that improvement to come in? Because I will warn you under this energy, if you decide not to look at your issues right now, your issues will still show up just in a very unwanted way so that you can walk through it, so that you can solve it, so that you can take the lesson that you need to learn from it so that you can go forward. So that will be happening. Those things that we've put blinders on, we've moved to the back burner. We're not really looking at things where we just don't want to give it up, but we know we should. Those kinds of things will come into focus regardless. So before the end of the year, they're going to come out, you know, those ghosts come out of the closet and they're going to haunt you. So it's better for you to be direct. Maybe you need healing from something so that you can allow the expansion in. Maybe you need to grow the belief of who you are so that you can let the expansion in. Maybe you need to learn something so that you can let the expansion in. Whatever. So it's very strong energy. It will be following us till the end of the year. And we'll want to avoid, under this energy, we will want to avoid taking responsibility for the things that matter. We'll want to go off here and we'll want to go off there and all around the place and look what's new here and look what's different and unique and I can do this and I've never done it before. And those kinds of things, so long as you're not avoiding your responsibilities, your obligations, cool. But if you are starting to avoid those things, you need how to, how to bring it all together into one. Okay, so, oh, oh, oh. Oh, hang on, I'll be back. They all flew to the ground. Oh, we got two cards here. I guess they're telling me to be quiet and stop rambling and get to the cards. So I will. So what do we got here? We got the lovers and we got the six of pentacles. So balance of relationships. Okay, and I was saying that already with the, the moon and Virgo, very much about relationships. And so look at the balance of a relationship. Are you too giving in the relationship? Are you taking too much out of the relationship? Are you making too many decisions in the relationship? Are you not making any of the decisions in the relationship? Where is the harmony? Where is the growth? Where is the love? Where is the compassion? Where is the understanding? And if it's not a two-way street, then you need to look at it right now. But look at what we've got here. We've got the lovers. So I wasn't kidding when I said it's about relationships right now. And that could be the expansion of your love life. If somebody new could come in and just rock your entire universe this year. But we have the lovers. So it's it's making that bond. It's bringing two souls into one. It's growing relationships deeper and stronger. Now, not all of us are in relationships, nor do we want to be in relationships. So since I'm doing a general reading, it could also be your passions, your dreams, your desires, your goals, and falling in love with the challenge of going after it and falling in love with yourself, that you are capable of going after it, that you have the potential. So grab a hold of that strength, grab a hold of that courage, and go after a dream of desire and really infuse it with your passion, with your love, with your desire. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to put those back into the deck. And then I think I'll give it a fast shuffle just to see if they pop back up again. Otherwise, we will go into the cards. 
Okay. So let's see what comes out for us here. Oh my goodness. I know a lot of tarot card readers that would just say, oh, we got to reshuffle when this card comes up as the first card, the three of swords. So is it going to be an emotionally charged day for us? Chances are yes. Is it probably going to be long term? I'm, I'm thinking over the next several weeks, I don't think this is much of because of the transits that happened yesterday. And we're still in the solar eclipse energy. All this beautiful stuff is happening in our life. All these major transits are happening in our life. So we have to, we know the energy is strong. And so, yes, there could be some emotionally charged thoughts that come our way or how we're basing our reasoning, our decision-making skills. We want to grow and improve and be innovative and bring out our inspiration, but we could be restless and not focused on it. And why are we restless? Why are we not focused on it? Chances are there's something on the back burner that we are ignoring. And until we take care of that, it's going to keep pulling our focus away. This could be healing. This could be where you just need to love yourself and heal to forgive yourself. For goodness sakes, forgive yourself. We are so hard on ourselves. Watch yourself talk. What do you say to yourself when you drop that spoon? When you knock over that glass of water? What do you say to yourself when you're running late? What do you say to yourself? What names do you call yourself? Are you loving you? Because if it was the best friend that was running late and they showed up and they said, I'm so sorry I'm late, what would you say? Hey, you're always late. I can count on you for being late. When are you ever on time? I can't believe you. You got all the time in the world and look at this. You're still late. What's going on with you? You know, and you tell yourself off and how you wouldn't tell your best friend off. You wouldn't tell your lover off. So why were you telling yourself off? So watch those little things. You know, you drop off the, drop, knock the water over and you're like, oh, I'm so clumsy. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I did that. Would you say it to your, to your best friend if they knocked over the water? You're such an idiot. Look at you. You're so clumsy. Oh my God. Maybe you would, but chances are, I would hope you wouldn't nor are you saying them to yourself. So allow healing and forgiveness in for past actions, what you call a failure, where you went wrong, where you made the wrong choice, where you made the wrong decision. And I hate to break it to you, but you did no such thing. You were supposed to walk that way. And even if you tried a different way, you would have ended up in the same way place because you had to learn a lesson in order to go forward. You're going to need that as part of your backbone, part of your strength, part of your courage part of your confidence in yourself, perhaps. That's what it grew inside of you. So expect emotionally charged. For some of us, a few of us, our worlds will really rock. Some of us, we may not even notice it. Things might come up, but something distracts us and we don't give it the attention it needs and we go forward and we're not healing. So really this card symbolizes what we could do today for ourselves and it is to allow healing in to allow compassion, understanding, support. So get together with somebody who sees you in the same aspect as they see themselves and they're supportive and they're loving to you. Get together with them and give each other a pep talk about how great you are. Listen to each other. Ah, the two of wands. It's about clearing everything away and saying, come on, dream. Come on, goal. Let's do this. That's what this card is about. It, look at There's nothing else around us. There's a box and it's empty. So we're ready for anything. Anything can come in because it's wide open. So what lingers in your shadow? What do you need to let go of? Because I think that today is very much a let go healing kind of energy. At the same time, we're very focused on going forward. And then the judgment card. Well, if you did it for the right reasons and you applied your focus and applied your energy and applied your strength and your time and your vitality, chances are the rewards are coming a multitude, especially because it's the 11 and 22 energy that surrounds today. So promotions, raises, Somebody notices you that you've wanted them to notice you for, oh my goodness, you forgot how long it's been. 
waiting for them to notice you. They notice you today because you've been doing everything that you need to do in order to be noticed. This is rewards coming in for past actions, where you've paid it forward. Something is paid forward to you now in a way that you can't believe it's happening. I've already chattered too much today, so I won't, won't go into my experience of um, on Mother's Day, how I was, I was saved like close to $300 by the actions of a very wonderful, beautiful person. Okay, we're going to go to a mantra card now. But saved me and saved $300, saved my reputation in, the, in a small way. Really beautiful person. So expect nice things to happen. You know, you, you the cop pulls you over, you think you're getting a ticket, and the cop says, ah, you go ahead and have a nice day. But this is a warning. I'll be watching for you. And letting you off the hook. Maybe you've been promising somebody that you'd get together with them and then you've taken all the overtime at work and you're not making time for them. This is the time when you, you make time for them. You, you find that window of opportunity because it's rewarding to you to get together with that person. They raise your energy. They spark your imagination. They inspire you. So gifts can come in a multitude of packages. Look at this. Dreams. Believe in your dreams. Believe in your dreams. Please believe in your dreams. My goodness. And if you want a little manifesting secret, the last five minutes before you go to bed at night, okay? A lot of people say, well, you're gonna, you can, you can do several things, okay? You can talk to your subconscious the last five minutes before you go to bed tonight. You can tell your subconscious the kind of day you expect to have tomorrow and make it all good and make it all positive and make it all beautiful and unicorns and rainbows if you must. You can do that or you can tell your, your, your dream, your goal of what you want to wake up to. When I open my eyes, I want to have this much in the bank. I want to be able to buy that house. I'm going to have a have that baby. I'm pregnant. Whatever, I, I met the, the person of my dreams, my soulmate, whatever it might be. I just got that job. I got the call. I got the job. I got the loan. I can start my own business, whatever it might be. Watch it in your mind. Maybe it's just you're going to go for a walk and you want sunshine and flowers. Imagine it. Tell your subconscious that you are expect when you open your eyes in the morning, this is what you're going to have. But I think the one that works the best is take your dream. Let's say you want to run, you want to win a, a 10K marathon. And you're practicing for it and it's hard. And, you know, you're asking for the strength. You're telling your subconscious, you know, tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up. I'm going to do my jog. I'm going to do my stretching. I'm going to do my meditation. I'm going to do all the things I need to do. It's going to be a great day. But the best thing you can do is take, visualize that person, your person, that you would be on the phone when you cross that finish line and said, I did it. Or better yet, they're going to be there and they're going to be hugging you and loving you and celebrating you because you, you did it. You want to imagine their happiness and their joy as they giggle and they laugh and they cover you with hugs and kisses and they're dancing for you and they get you dancing and see your smile and, and just feel your accomplishment through their praise that you are imagining. And let me know what happens. It won't, it won't be like this, but trust me when I say that your subconscious goes to work immediately in order to make it happen for you. Oh my gosh, they're congratulating. Did we miss the boat? We got to do this now. Come on, let's group up here, cells. So we've got dreams. Believe in your dreams. Also, you can get some very, there's a lot of energy still in Pisces, right? We still have Neptune there in Pisces. We got Mars in Pisces. So there's still is energy in Pisces. So our dreams are still very potent. 
So if you can write down your dreams. Now, one person was telling me when they write down their dreams, sometimes they wake up, they don't have a dream. But if you tell your subconscious, I need to remember my dream. I need to, when I wake up, to re have remembered the dream. It takes some practice, but eventually you'll start to remember your dreams. But what she said she did, which I thought was very th much thinking outside the box, and it worked for her, at least, so it must be able to work for somebody else. What she did is when she woke up and there was no dream to record, she would write down the first thing she thought of, whether it was part of a dream or not. And so and she would tell herself that she's writing it down. So she, eventually what started to happen is she was remembering her dreams. They say we dream every night. Even if you don't remember them, we dream. So believe in your dreams, believe in yourself, reach for the stars. You have the courage, the patience, and the passion within you. It's time to make a difference. When you have a dream, only you have the responsibility to make it real. Dreams are never free. It may take time, energy, sacrifice to create the reality and live your dream. It also takes preparation, determination, and effort. Never compromise or surrender your dreams. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams, your goals, your desires. The mantra is, I believe in following my dreams. I believe in following my dreams. Okay, we got our new animal deck here. Where's the box? So I remember, I don't remember what it, they're called. So Mother's Day present. Spirit of the Animals Oracle. So there's the, the box if you're ever looking for it. And they're animals. So I'm replacing the animal cards for now with my new deck. And these are very beautiful, by the way. So, and I'm loving them. I just, they feel like they've been in my hands forever. I cleared them. Let's see who shows up to give us guidance and direction. And it is the swan, Grace. I guess I'll hold that up. Look at that. So, on the card, it says, oh my goodness, I got these new contacts. With the bifocals in them, can't read a bloody thing. You who glides across the waters of any soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. So you who glides across the waters of my soul, help me. To step into the beauty with a grace, with a wisdom, with a light. Help me to go forward. Help me to see my beauty and my grace. Because when you start to understand your beauty, your grace, you understand that you do deserve. That it's waiting for you. That all you need to do are the steps. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you.